what is going on guys my name is fusions today we're going to be opening up this bakugan evolutions walmart exclusive dragonoid brawler pack let's open it up all right so here we have a dragonoid brawler pack now this is called dragonoid brawler pack specifically because it comes with two dragonoids we have this true metal just Pyrus Dragonoid, and we do have a Neo Dragonoid here. I don't think this one is true metal. I think this is just all plastic, but this one does have metal. You can see it right there, the gold parts, which look pretty nice. This is um, like a special sort of um, product for just Dragonoid. It is exclusive to Walmart, as you can see, only at Walmart, and this is from Bakugan Evolutions. Let's turn it around and let's uh, let's see what's in here. So yeah, we do have the Pyrus Neo Dragonoid. It is not true metal. This one is true metal, which is the Platinum Dragonoid. Pretty cool. Two character cards and one gate card. Hopefully it's a like a special gate card because it's kind of like a special product sort of just for Dragonoid. So at least have a Dragonoid gate card. And we do have two Baku cores. Let's open this up and uh, let's take a look at these Dragonoids. All right. So this is technically my first Bakugan review of the year. So I wanted to start it off with some Dragonoid action. Of course, Dragonoid. You have to start off the year with Dragonoid. All right. So that is everything that's in here. Let's uh, first, we'll put the Bakugan back there. It's a little heavy, so it's going to fall. We got to put it that way. Let's take a look at what's in here first. Then we'll take a look at the Bakugan. Ooh, I see the gate card and it looks like it is gonna be a Dragonoid. And um, I said two Baku cores, but it, it actually comes with four Baku cores. Uh, two for each Baku gun, of course. Um, so let's, oh, they dropped, okay. So first let's take a look at the gate card. So here it is, let's take a look at it. We have a Dragonoid gate card. So it's gate card number 45 in the set. I do have this one, it is not new to me but I'm happy that they do have a Dragonoid gate card in here because this is a Dragonoid product. Um, so there it is. Now we do have the cores here. We have four Baku cores. First, we have the best Helix plus 600B minus three damage. Very nice. Plus 300B shield, which is regular shield. We have two flame, um, green fist. Plus 150B, plus one damage. And then we do have the uh, same one, basically. Plus 150B, plus one damage. They could have given me the better one, but they didn't, of course. Um, the cores aren't too great, uh, but we I think we have seen the stats of these Bakugan. I don't think they're any different. Let's take them out. So first, we have the uh, Neo Dragonoid here. Looks like it has some cool patterns. I think that's... The reason why you get this pack, because the Bakugan, I think they're exactly, well, the stats, I think they're exactly the same as the regular Bakugan. Let me uh, cut them loose. Yeah, I think they're the same stats, but the cool, um, I guess, like design, the different um, color scheme or like the details. Look at that. That looks so cool. All right, let's take a look at the Bakugan now, because I want to take a look at those cool details. Let's see, so first, we're taking a look at, who are we taking a look at first? All right, I'm sure it's gonna be a Dragonoid. It is Pyrus Dragonoid Evo. I said Neo, but it's Evo, Dragonoid Evo. Um, wait, I had to pause a little bit because I said Neo because in the box, let me, let me just show you, let me take this out. In the box, it actually says Neo. So that's why I said Neo, but it's Evo, right? I, I, I'm not sure anymore. I'm kind of confused, but yeah, it says Neo on the box. Even the back says Neo. So I'm sure this is Neo Dragonoid. So I think what happened here is that they gave us the wrong character card, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think that's what happened. So we have the Pyrus Dragonoid Evo character card. Uh, one shield, one green fist, 300B, five damage. But it does have two uh, bonus abilities here, core abilities. So if you land on a shield, you get the minus core ability. You get to take away your opponent's core, put it back on the field. Well, they put it back on the field, but you know, they, they don't have a core anymore. So that's pretty good. 
but if you land on a green fist you get to add another core from the field onto your dragonoid so that could be very good for like um nanogun plays that way you have two cores onto your bakugan and then maybe you can activate some nanoguns now the thing about this one is that it does have very very low b power so it's is it even worth mentioning how much it could get up to with the best b boosting um core which it doesn't even carry it's a magic shield it would give you plus 650 you wouldn't even make it to a thousand you'll be at 950 so the best bet maybe you can land on a flame fist and it doesn't even carry that uh and you'll get to 11 damage maybe a damage play or, or like i said some nanogon play because that's all i can see that you can do with this one but let me know in the comments what you guys think of the stats of this dragonoid evil but let's take a look at the bakugan now so here it is it is this one that's already in ball form but let's open it up there we go all right so we have a dragonoid here i'm pretty sure this is neo dragonoid and this is different from the um i guess just like the regular dragonoid that you can get because it does have some like really cool patterns here that the regular dragonoid did not have so that makes it look pretty cool uh you're kind of like paying for these like different color schemes color paints um these details that's basically what you're paying for because you're getting the same um dragonoid basically so uh the same stats that's what i mean it does have the horn let me take it out there you go it's golden pretty cool this looks really nice i really like these details here they kind of look uh like the elemental patterns but i mean less cooler than the elemental patterns of course but very nice i mean if you look at it from the front it's just red but you got to look at the back so it's actually kind of cool very nice all right what do you guys think do you guys like the color scheme of this dragonoid i think it looks pretty nice but now let's close this up and let's roll it onto a core first we gotta push the horn in there then push the head down kind of hold it like this put the legs in behind the uh head like that make sure you hold all of that together try to hold it then the tail goes in first and then the arms one side and then the other side and it should lock and that is how you close this neo dragonoid let's roll it onto this core and let's see how it opens up let's see a stand up all right here we go three two one brawl and it kind of stood up and it's ready to fight the other dragonoid what's going on here i had to stop the fight between them but we're good now so let's take a look at the other dragonoid now so let's see the stats so here are the stats of this pyrus platinum dragonoid looking pretty pretty sick i remember opening this up a long time ago so yeah it does have the same stats as the regular uh pyrus platinum dragonoid which i mean it's still a regular dragonoid just a little different uh we do have a helix and a green fist for this one 500 b power and one damage the stats are kind of they're kind of they're just really low 500 b it's higher than this one, but it's still pretty low. And then one damage, the lowest that you can have. Now it does have a good ability though. If you're able to pull it off, um, you need to have the Helix and the Green Fist on this Bakugan and you get a nice boost of a thousand B power. If you have both of these cores on, you're basically gonna be over 2000 B because of the Helix. You'll get a plus 600 Helix and then uh, 500, that's 11. And then plus the green fizz, you can also get like another 150 from it. So yeah, you'll probably be like a 2250 B if you, you're able to get both of them. So that's really good, but you have to get both of them. And uh, there's different ways of doing it, but I don't know if you want to like rely on it. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this one? It does have a big B boost if you're able to get those two cores, but if you don't, it's very weak. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And here is the Bakugan. And this one actually has a very, very good weight. It's very heavy. It's actually really heavy. It has a, basically two big pieces of metal. The body here, uh, the bottom part, and then there's a top part as well. So there's lots of metal on this Bakugan. And it's super heavy. Like I don't know if uh, Platinum Series Bakugan are this heavy usually. So this one, it's like probably one of the heaviest ones so far. I don't know why it just feels heavy but i like it i like the weight 
and uh, the colors of this one are I mean it's amazing first of all the uh, metal here the true metal part is golden so I, I'm in love with that that's awesome that's really really good for Dragonoid it looks amazing and just look at this you get all these details here you get the flames uh, the usual flames but we do have that like pattern that cool pattern on the wings and on the tail which make everything just like even better from this angle you can kind of see how cool it looks but if you do look at it from the front it kind of looks kind of normal just like red and then of course the true metal part but you got to look at it from the back so you can see how cool this dragonoid actually is yeah it's awesome i like this one i like this like special dragonoid you can kind of call it looks great and it also has a gold horn as well so that's that's i mean that's just extra as well very very nice i like this one a lot more than that one of course probably because it's a true metal bakugan but yeah this is a, a very cool uh platinum series dragonoid i would probably get this pack just for this one because this one is pretty sick okay let's close it so first push the body down it should lock then push the tail in which is going to push the head down a little bit but push it all the way and hold it then on one side leg up wing down then the other side leg up wing down and that is how you close this really cool platinum series pyrus dragonoid in ball form it looks sick as well let's roll it onto a core let's open it up let's see it in action here we go let's see there we go three two one brawl and i kind of rolled it too slow and because of the metal it did not want to go all the way as you saw so it's a platinum series box gun just make sure you roll it not too fast not too slow just the right amount that is platinum pyrus dragonoid all right guys so that's it for this bakugan review of this dragonoid brawler pack if you love dragonoid 100 you have to get this brawler pack because these dragonoids are pretty cool especially this one of course the platinum series is really really sick this is just an exclusive dragonoid uh pack for fans of dragonoid that's that's all i can say about it uh the, they're not too strong but they are really cool so if you like dragonoid get this brawler pack uh but before you guys go of course go to the comments make sure to vote for which bakugan product i should open up next lots of selections nova bakugan starter pack we have a platinum power up pack and a rare uh, elemental bakugan so go down in the comments vote to see what we're gonna open up next make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe and stay tuned for more bakugan content and support the channel thanks for watching guys and peace out